probably not unlike many of you, some of my best memories of childhood are the family vacations that we took. They were not too exotic, far off places. Most were right here in Michigan. But Dad and Mom, and the love our family shared then, are what made those times so very special. In July 1967, our destination was Houghton Lake, Michigan. It was only about 150 miles from home, but we had never been there before, so I was excited. Dad rented a little cabin only about a block from the lakeshore, and for weeks ahead of time, Mom was uh, packing clothes, buying supplies, and making sure we would have everything we needed. Now, I need to explain something that will help you to understand people's state of mind and somewhat irrational fears on the night this account takes place. Beginning a year earlier, 1966, Michigan was in the grip of what is known as a UFO flap, which is a period of intense UFO activity. People were so on edge that they began to demand an explanation from the Air Force. So, Dr. J. Allen Hynek was sent in to find the answer to what people were seeing. And this was a sham. His investigation lasted at most a couple of days, and at a press conference held at the Detroit Press Club, Heineck announced that it was most likely swamp gas that was being cited. <laughs> well, virtually no one accepted that explanation, and what was actually seen was never explained. Over the course of a year, reported sightings slowed up, and people began to put the swamp gas incident to the back of their minds. However, since it had never been really explained, it was still smoldering in the back of many people's minds. Flash forward to July 1967. We hit the road in a couple of cars as we had quite an entourage. There was at least one of us in the small... There was, <laughs> excuse me, folks. There was at least one of us in the small two-bedroom cabin. Anyways, do you remember the excitement of arriving at your vacation destination when you were a kid. Everything had to be explored, every nook and cranny. Dad and my older uh, brothers went down to the, to the lake to check out the dock as visions of fresh-caught walleye and perch danced in their heads. <laughs> well, I remember who slept, I don't remember who slept where, uh, but I slept in the living room, which was very dark and silent. And when everyone went to bed, that was, they tended to go to bed rather late. But the window near me was open, so I could hear the waves ever so gently washing upon the beach. And then, in that quiet of the night, all hell broke loose. Loud, strange, and unearthly sounding sirens filled the night. And in moments, everyone was up with uh, lights still out trying to peer into the night to see what was happening. The loud, wailing sounds continued from all different directions. Dad and my brothers <clears throat> stepped outside, and I, I saw other people out there, too, frightened and staring at the sky. And the first thing that came to my mind were the UFOs, and from what I could hear of other people's conversations, the same thing was on a lot of other minds as well. The street uh, we were on was dead end off the main road, and the cabin was at the bottom of a hill. Dad and a few other men started walking up the hill to see if they were able to um, observe anything unusual other than the sounds. And I remember hearing Mom yell out, Frank, you come back here! But he continued on with the group. Seemed to me they were up there a long time, and finally those weird, weird noises faded away. Soon Dad and the other men were coming back, and oddly they were all talking and laughing. And when Dad came in and the lights were switched on, Mom gave him a perplexed look. It's all right, Lorraine. They were sirens. Well, I never heard sirens like that, she replied. And Dad went on to explain, you'll be hearing them a lot more. These are the sounds of the new ambulances. There was a car accident, and there were a couple of ambulances there. Mystery solved, and the rest of our Houghton Lake vacation was not affected by anything else strange, but instead by lots of memorable fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe prodded you to some memories of your own family vacations when you were younger. Thanks for stopping by, and God bless.